Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a kaiju film called Gamera the Brave. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. In 1973, the people of Japan are terrorized by a devastating attack as all the civilians are running away from the burning buildings. A young boy named Kosuke watches in shock as giant monsters called kaijus are fighting in the far distance. A huge fireball hits one of the flying creatures and causing it to fall onto the ground as a giant turtle known as Gamera marches towards the battlefield. Suddenly, a powerful laser beam lands on the massive kaiju and causing it to scream in pain while the enemy continues to fire its weapon from the sky. Gamera falls down from the vicious attack and all the flying monsters drop in to finish the kill by trying to tear the giant kaiju into pieces. The massive turtle is able to stand up once again, but the furious attacks from the enemies continue, forcing the creature to charge up all its energy as a result. Gamera begins to glow like the sun, and eventually causing a huge explosion that kills all the enemies alongside the kaiju as well. Many years later, Kosuke is now a man who has a son named Toru, and he's visiting the grave of his wife alongside his only child. The father tells the boy that his mother is in heaven now, but Toru doesn't think that such place exists, believing that his mom is nothing but a pile of bones inside the grave. The next day, while going to school for a swimming lesson, Toru notices a spark of light from the island across the water, which continues shining like it was trying to talk to him. The boy decides to skip school and venture towards the light, eventually swimming across the water and making it below the island. He climbs onto the rocks and slowly goes towards the shining object, which turns out to be a large egg that's resting on top of a glowing stone. Toru looks at the items curiously, and to his surprise, the egg begins to hatch, releasing what appears to be a small turtle. The boy tries to help the creature out and immediately befriends the mysterious animal, eventually noticing a unique pattern on its belly. Toru brings the turtle home and decides to name it Toto, but what he didn't expect was how fast the creature grew from just one day. He tries to hide the animal from his father, who comes in the morning to clean his room, but is shocked to see that the turtle is somehow flying in the air. The boy's neighbor, Mei, also sees this and screams in shock, causing the creature to fly off in fear as Toru catches the animal just in time. He immediately tells the girl to be quiet, and they're able to hide it from the father who leaves in confusion. Taru shows the animal to his friend afterwards, and Mei is shocked to see the turtle flying in the air like it has its own jetpack. The main character decides to reveal the creature to all his closest friends, and the boys are amazed by the flying turtle, which immediately makes them want to befriend the animal. However, Mei disagrees with the children's carelessness, as she thinks that Toto may actually be dangerous. She gives Toru a report of Gamera, telling the boy that his pet shares many similarities with the kaiju, including the ability to fly. Mei tells him that he should release the animal, but the boy refuses to believe that his pet can become a giant monster. This is quickly proven to be wrong, as Toto grows exponentially in a matter of days, turning into a massive turtle that the boy can no longer hide in his home. With no other choice, Toru decides to bring the creature alongside his friends and put the animal inside their secret hideout. The boys are amazed by how beautiful the creature is, but Mei seems to be the only one who's concerned about the animal's true origin. After leaving their hideout, she tries to tell Toru about the danger of the creature, but the boy refuses to believe that Toto is Gamera, not wanting his pet to die like its predecessor. The girl nearly goes into tears while telling Toru that she might not be able to look after him in the future, before running away and leaving the boy in utter confusion. The main character quickly quickly finds out about the truth the next day, as he sees Mei leaving for school and how her parents are worried about her health. It turns out that the girl has to go through a heart surgery very soon, and the outcomes are likely to be fatal if anything goes wrong. Toru begins thinking about his dead mother as he watches Mei's family, and finally begins realizing how much he wishes that his mom was still alive. He takes the red stone that came with Toto and decides to give it to the girl, hoping that it can protect her through the surgery and keep her alive. Mei thanks Toru for caring so much about her, and promises to return the stone as soon as she gets better, but the girl can't help but feel that something very bad is about to happen. The next day, Toru goes to his secret hideout and is shocked to see that Toto has disappeared from the building. He tries desperately to search for the creature alongside his friends, but is not able to find the 
animal no matter how much he looked. What they don't realize is that danger is approaching very quickly, as a man is trying to survive in the ocean after his ship was destroyed. He quickly notices that something is wrong as objects begin to flow towards the surface. This causes him to swim away immediately, but the man is quickly dragged into the water, leaving nothing but blood behind. The navy is notified of this as they search for the missing people, but soon finds out the terrifying truth about the incident. The sirens are turned on in the entire city as the people run desperately for their lives, and Toru notices damages in the city from far away. Kosuke is able to find them just in time and tries to lead them away from danger as they climb down the stairs. All the people begin running towards them, including one of Toru's friends who falls down from the chaos. They rush forwards to help the boy, but is quickly knocked away by a massive concrete that was thrown by a horrifying kaiju named Zedis, who towers over all the civilians. The creature approaches the people and begins opening its massive jaw, before devouring all the humans on the ground like a sushi buffet. Luckily, Toru notices that his friend is still alive, and the father tells the boys to wait here as he carefully approaches the child. Kosuke manages to carry the boy on his shoulder as the kaiju launches directly at them, but is quickly intercepted by another creature. The man is shocked to find out that he's still alive, as he sees a giant turtle right behind him who roars furiously at the enemy. Kosuke realizes immediately that the creature is the spitting image of Gamera, who's here to save the people by allowing them to escape. Zedis roars viciously at the turtle, but the kaiju rushes forwards and bites the enemy right on the leg, causing the creature to scream in pain. The lizard monster slams the turtle onto the floor repeatedly as it tries to shake off the opponent, eventually throwing the creature across the field and crashing it into a building. Luckily, the kaiju is able to recover quickly and gets back onto its feet, while Toru recognizes the mark on the creature's body, confirming that the turtle is actually his pet Toto, who's clearly the reincarnation of Gamera. The boy rushes towards the battlefield to help the creature, while Gamera is being forced backwards into a corner by the massive lizard. Zedis roars furiously and slams the kaiju by using its tail, knocking the turtle into the air and pushing it backwards onto a bridge, but Gamera refuses to give up so easily. The enemy approaches the turtle and prepares to deal the finishing blow as it begins climbing onto the structure. The lizard spits out its massive tongue that wounds Gamera in the process, forcing the turtle to dodge the continuous attacks which are destroying the entire bridge. In the last moment, the kaiju is able to grab onto the creature's tongue and launches a fireball at the enemy's face, causing Zedis to fall down immediately as it crashes into the water. Although Gamera is victorious in this battle, is clearly wounded by the fight, causing Toru to run towards his friend, but he's quickly stopped by the military that begins blocking off the entire area. The soldiers rush towards the giant turtle and surrounds the creature immediately, while Gamera is barely able to move. Very soon, the military is able to strap the creature onto a truck as they take Gamera away right in front of everyone. Toru sees this and rushes towards his friend immediately while looking at the unconscious creature. The boy continues running alongside the truck as he calls out Gamera's name, while the kaiju is only able to respond by momentarily opening its eyes before being brought away by the humans. Toru arrives inside the shelter alongside his father and questions the man about the truth of Gamera. Kosuke explains that Toto is likely the reincarnation of the kaiju who died a long time ago by sacrificing itself to protect humanity. He warns Toru to not become attached towards the creature, as he'll fight other monsters until it dies, but the boy refuses to accept this to be the fate of his friend. At the same time, Gamera is brought into a laboratory where scientists are trying desperately to restore the creature, realizing that it may be the only hope against the lizard monster. They are able to find numerous red stones from inside the ocean, and speculates that Gamera's powers must be related to the artifacts, as they inject the elements into the creature. On the other side, Toru has received a phone call from Mei's parents, telling him that the girl has been repeating strange words in her sleep after the operation. Apparently, Mei has formed a psychic connection to the kaiju, and recognizes that it needs the glowing stone to recover 
cover completely. Realizing that Gamera is in need of help, Tori decides to go alongside his friends to retrieve the item from Mei so that they can restore the giant turtle's power. Kosuke wakes up later that morning only to see the goodbye letter from his son, prompting him to chase after the boy immediately. Meanwhile, the scientists continue to try and heal the giant creature, but is confused as to why their methods are not working at all. Surprisingly, the kaiju begins opening its eyes as it senses the presence of Zedis, who's swimming across the ocean and heading towards the population center. The doctors are notified by the news that the lizard kaiju is coming straight for their building, but it's very obvious that Gamera is not ready for battle right now. Suddenly, the building walls are knocked into pieces by a massive tail and throwing everyone onto the ground. The entire structure begins crumbling down towards the turtle as it realizes that Zedis has come to finish the previous battle. The people try to evacuate the buildings immediately as the lizard monster continues destroying the laboratory by using its tail and throwing the concretes onto the civilians. Toru has made it into the city as well, but quickly notices that the monster is attacking the entire area as he sees the news. Realizing that retrieving the stone is the only way to saving the people, the boy runs immediately towards May's hospital. What he doesn't know is that all the patients are evacuating away from the building, which includes May, who's being taken away by her parents, while the red stone begins to glow in brightness. At the same time, the doctors are able to survive the attack on the laboratory, while they witness Gamera bursting out from the concrete as it appears to be much larger than before. The kaiju roars furiously at the giant lizard, while the enemy continues to terrorize the people by crumbling the entire city and making the civilians run for their lives. Zedis approaches the escaping humans and prepares to devour everyone, but is quickly knocked over by Gamera, who's here to save the people. The enemy roars in anger as it begins pushing the giant turtle backwards and quickly gaining the upper hand as it knocks Gamera onto the ground right in front of the main character. The boy shouts out his friend's name and giving the creature the needed courage to continue fighting, even though it proceeds to get knocked around by the enemy. Toru realizes that they don't have much time left and runs towards the hospital immediately, eventually making it into the subway station where they continue heading against the crowds. The boys are able to arrive into the hospital building and they rush towards the upper floors immediately, only to see nothing but empty beds where Mei is nowhere to be found. Surprisingly, Toru runs into his father as well, and the man tries to stop the boy from further danger by telling him to forget about the kaiju. However, the main character refuses to give up, as he doesn't want to see Gamera die just like his predecessor, and begins running towards the monster once again. Kosuke tells the other boys to go to the refugee camp immediately, before chasing after his son. At the same time, Mei is resting inside a temporary hospital, as she witnesses the kaijus fighting furiously in the horizons, but not being able to do anything to help. She tries to leave her bed and walk towards Gamera, but is quickly stopped by her parents who don't seem to understand their daughter's motivations. Just when everything seems to be hopeless, Mei notices another girl who appears to understand what she was trying to do, and promises to bring the stone towards the giant creature. The girl rushes away from the building as she begins heading towards the battleground for the kaijus, and running against all the people who are escaping the area. Meanwhile, the fight continues between the two monsters, while Gamera is being dominated by the enemy and impaled by the lizard's tongue which makes the turtle scream in pain. The giant monster continues striking Gamera by using its tail, but the kaiju refuses to give up no matter the cost. Zedis eventually manages to knock the turtle onto the ground and continues slamming the creature without mercy. This allows Gamera the chance to fight back, as it bites onto the enemy and refuses to let go, which causes the lizard to scream in agony. However, Zedis begins dragging the kaiju across the street as it slowly climbs onto a building and lifting Gamera into the air. Suddenly, the creature drops down onto the ground and throws the giant turtle by using its tail, which launches the kaiju towards the skyscraper and causing it to crash into the structure. Toru sees that his friend is in danger and shouts for Gamera's name, but what he doesn't realize is that help is coming very quickly in the hands of the children of humanity. The girl carrying the red stone becomes stranded by the moving crowds, but passes on the mission towards a boy who begins running forwards once again. The child is eventually caught by a police officer who tries to save his life, but he gives the stone to another boy that's passing by who gladly takes on the
the responsibility of the mission. The red stone is passed on repeatedly as all the children work together to save humanity, eventually giving the item to Toru's friends who are able to bring it to the main character. The boy takes the item and realizes what he must do as he looks up onto the building where Gamera is trapped inside the skyscraper. He promises that the kaiju would not have to die once again, and surprisingly, his father has decided to help Toru complete the mission as they both run towards the buildings together. At the same time, Zedis also begins climbing onto the skyscraper as he tries to kill Gamera once and for all. The creature eventually arrives beside the kaiju and attacks the turtle by launching out its tongue while causing Gamera tremendous pain. Toru and his father are able to make it onto the building as well, and Kosuke tries to push the obstacles away while giving his son the chance to save the massive turtle. The boy runs upstairs immediately and eventually arrives into the room where Gamera is trapped inside, making him realize that his friend is hurt very badly. Toru tells the kaiju that he brought the stone here so that the creature can live, as he refuses to see a loved one die in front of him ever again. However, the giant lizard jumps onto the building that they're in and strikes Gamera by using its tail, eventually pulling the kaiju away from the boy. Toru sees this and throws the stone right into the creature's mouth as Gamera falls towards the ground and causing a massive shockwave as a result. The boy runs towards the kaiju immediately, but it's quickly revealed that Gamera was able to stop the fall by using its propulsions after regaining its full power. The turtle begins launching towards the sky as it covers the entire area with dust, and all the children looks at the creature in happiness as they were able to save the kaiju. Gamera starts flying around like a spinning saucer that eventually charges towards the giant lizard and knocks the creature away, causing it to crash onto the ground. The massive kaiju lands onto the street and prepares to finish the battle, but Zedis launches out from below and bites Gamera right on the neck while piercing through the turtle's body. This forces Gamera to charge up his energy once again, while Toru watches the battle from the nearby building alongside his father. The soldiers rush towards the two and tries to get them to leave the area, as they believe that the kaiju is about to self-destruct, but Toru promises that this will not happen anymore. The people continue watching as Gamera manages to push the enemy away while grabbing onto the creature's tongue and ripping it into pieces, which causes the lizard to stumble backwards. Gamera prepares to launch his final attack as it glows even brighter, and causing everything to burn around its body. The kaiju launches out a massive fireball that lands directly onto the lizard monster, causing the creature to blow up into a million pieces and leaving nothing but flames behind. After finally obtaining victory, Gamera falls down from the exertion while the entire military begins heading towards the creature once again as they try to capture the giant turtle. However, they're quickly stopped before reaching the kaiju, as Toru and his friends refuse to let the humans take away their savior's freedom while yelling for the monster to run away. Kosuke tells the soldiers that they should give up right now, as all the children begin to gather in front of the military and refusing to let the people enslave their hero. Gamera is finally able to regain its consciousness and looks at Toru a final time before getting up on its feet and prepares to launch off once again. The people watch in amazement as the creature flies into the sky and eventually disappearing into the far distance as Toru cries in happiness knowing that his friend is free at last. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.